Hello everyone, I'm Chinese Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here playing as Qing China at the current timing of this. We're looking at the battleship that we currently have, the, the Wu Weiyu Weltkrieg Heavy Hole Battleship. So, um, I haven't really looked at these too much, I think. And with our starting navy, starting naval fleet, it's not bad. Obviously, I would prefer, like, more than level 1 stuff, and some radar, and maybe another module slot, but overall, it's not too bad. I'm bringing this up because I'm thinking long term right now. Yes, we're in wars against, or we sent divisions to help against the, the Soviets, down against uh, some sort of clique down here, the Xinjiang clique, and I think somewhere else as well, regardless. Oh yeah, over here, in Anqing. But anyways, um, I'm thinking long term. I'm thinking when we go to war with the Fangqing government, maybe trans Europe, but especially against war against Japan, how am I going to take them out? That's my main question. And I had some comments and some thoughts on my Discord. You know what? I'm going to try something. I'm going to try something I usually don't try. In almost every single video you make me do, or that I do, yeah, that, the videos I make, I never use paratroopers. Now, when I invade Japan, I'm going to attempt to use some paratroopers. Maybe not a ton, but at least a few paratroopers, just because I haven't done it in years and I've had bad experiences using paratroopers before, but I will try to use paratroopers when I invade Japan. Eventually, once I have a good enough air force and at least a okay-ish navy. You know, it doesn't have to be a perfect navy to navally invade someplace, but it has to be at least okay. But anyways, we are sending divisions down to get more army XP. We only have 27, but we need at least 100 to continue army reforms. We're doing Liu Menggang's plan. We have a police crackdown to raise our stability. Overall, we're not doing too bad. Our main focus right now, though, will be assaulting Soviet divisions so that we get the most army XP. Because last time against a left KMT, against that leftist Chinese faction, they're mostly just attacking us. We don't really have to pay attention too much. Against East Turkestan, or I guess the Jing... Xinjiang country, we still have to get our divisions down there, and right now, even though we're trying to attack, we're not doing super great, led by Wang Lingyun, ooh, I keep doing that, even though we might not be doing a great job, we're still getting a lot of army XP, and that's what really matters, so, that being said, I still don't know, at the time of this recording, how this is going to play out, obviously, I don't know, and you probably don't know as well, and that's okay, because, I must think long term, like I said, and I may end up having a war on every single border, or be at war with everyone who is on my borders, like Shanxi clique, obviously the Fengjin government, Emperor of Japan, maybe the Shan, uh, the Shandong clique, maybe Anxing, maybe Hunan, maybe Sichuan, perhaps Ma clique, maybe even Mongolia, I don't know, because I've seen a couple things, and we know a couple things, but this is going to be difficult. And that's okay. We don't mind a little bit of difficulty from time to time, but I just don't know what the future holds. So, anyway, so with that in mind, we're going to produce as many guns as possible, as much artillery for at least support company and our divisions that we want to produce, as well as some more support equipment. Jack Reed elected president of the USA. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's going to be fun. Oh, Yucatan is alive. He's got a chunky leader. Mayan... Maya experience. This looks like a fun focus tree. I am probably never going to play you, though. Because there's way too many nations and way too many mods to play, and that's okay. Oh, good. Uh, where are you? Oh, yeah, you guys are going to go down that way. You guys actually won. Good job, guys. Good job. Now, get some more organization, and then I'm going to throw you right at the enemies next again. Oh, we're going to default on debt. How great. Let us default on our debt. Ooh, more army XP sounds good to me, but... Civilian factories. How many civilian factories do we currently have? Two. Ooh, that's not bueno. Political commissars, I don't want to lose daily political power. We don't need that right now. On our own, more army XP sounds nice. Support artillery, army XP, out of supply, and supply consumption goes down. This stuff isn't bad. I like it a lot because you get more land doctrine stuff. Bonus for land doctrine. This one gives you 10 army XP. Or you go with a couple generals get more attack and defense. Hire foreign advisors and mercenaries. Well, why would we do that if we're on our own? That doesn't make any sense. So, let's go ahead and c continue to do this. Um, it's 1936. Oh, wow, 
we're in like the third or fourth episode and we're still in 1936. You know, that's how slow Kaiser moves and how much lore there was in the beginning. Anyways, let's go ahead and do this one because by the time 1937 rolls around, we can do industry stuff. So in their haste to flee back to their concessions, the Peking Commission and German investors left large amounts of industrial machinery behind. We should salvage these designs and attempt to retro-engineer them for our own purposes. Amen. Amen. We get about 1.27 political power a day. That's not bad. That's really not bad whatsoever. You guys are looking almost perfect. Almost peachy. Almost Chinese peachy. So close. Come on. Organization goes up just a little bit more. And good. Commence another attack. These we do not commit atrocities, we just commit attacks. That is all we do. Wang Ling Yung, you're doing a great job. You're doing a great, great job. You're defending down here very nicely. And East Turkestani Volunteer Group. Ah, you did great. Actually, just go ahead and attack. Just go ahead and attack. Yes, your volunteers who are made of militia battalions, who I really don't like militia battalions. Especially six combat with. Ah. But you have artillery. So that does make it up for a little bit. Actually. With the artillery, you get 3.6 more breakthrough. Not a lot, but I'd prefer it than not have it. Good, good, good. You know it's a problem when Jing Chun starts sending volunteers around the world to influence events and military episodes, we'll call them. Military episodes. Ah, beautiful. Good. Ooh, there's a division down there that looks like free XP. I love the free XP. It only cost me thousands of men's lives and equipment. That's all. Go ahead, yeah. If we ever make any more military factories, definitely do that. Definitely, 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 definitely. So we have some national infantry divisions. Make that high. You're only 18 combat width. Not great. But, you know, it could be much worse. Good job, guys. Good job. Come on, suck on that army XP. Yes, please. Oh! <gasps> Oh, I can go to partial mobilization? Yes, that would be good. I don't care what the other stuff is here, besides uh, Wu Pai Fu. They get more attack, more you consume more supplies, and get more daily political power. Next up, I will do this one. Li Jai Chen, we gotta get that army XP. And now we have four military factories, or four civilian factories, I should say, really. Get a little more army XP, get a little more organization. Good, good, good. Because... This costs 100, and we currently have minus 40%. That is just no bueno. Oh, well, so much for free army XP. Whatever. Let's see, are you moving in? No. Is anyone moving around here? If anything... Oh, if I put you here, will you have supply problems? You might. Even though militia divisions, they don't consume nearly as much supply. Yeah, 0.28, that's not bad, but that terrain probably isn't very bueno. Ah, who is up here? Good, you guys are good enough. Go ahead. If I do force attack, do I get any more XP? Strength damage taken. War support reduction. I don't want to lo lose my war support, so nope, we don't get any extra XP. Well, we're at 50 XP, pretty much. And we are winning. Nice. We're getting up there. And the left KMT. I actually, I'll be honest, I have played as them at the time of this recording already. It's pretty fun. Pretty fun. I might do my next play through with them next Guangdong you having a little bit of a trouble there don't you a little bit of a trouble um paternal autocrats we really don't like you but we don't care about you either just kill each other off no one should win just both of you die that's how I should see these guys Italian democracy survives oh so it would seem very nice uh Guanzi clique Guangdong clique so many cliques in China oh that's Oh, you only five divisions? You have... Lag. 23. Oh, yeah, these guys are probably going to win. Increased factionalism. Oh, and... Oh, what'd you just get? Wait. A victory imminent. Seize the advantage in the war. Huh, that's interesting. That's, that's a definitely a different mechanic than what was in here previously, I think. Oh, Denmark joined the Reichsback. They're probably going to leave it someday. Don't they always? Next up, where is a good place to strike? Right here. I'm thinking of easy victories. That's what I want. Easy victories that give me a lot of XP. Or at least a little bit. Ooh, nice. You're a logistics wizard. Nice. You, Kai Cheng Zun. Doing alright. You're pretty defensive, which is good, because we're going to need a lot of defensive guys here. 
You're a guerrilla fighter. I like that. I really like that. That's good. Ah, salvage German designs. Happy 1937, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. On our own, let's get some more army XP, perhaps. Civilian factory, steel. Do we need steel? Not at the current moment. Let's go. Ooh, I like that. But on our own. That'll be good to do for now. This stuff is okay. Yeah, we can't really do much down here anyway. So, our decision to take an anti-concession stance has robbed us of German military support. No matter, we shall turn to our other resources and the will of the people to defend ourselves. Absolutely, positively. Artillery, looking good. Infantry equipment, my god, we need some more. <laughs> Trying to make 14 divisions, which isn't helping, and me doing attacks also isn't helping. But, oh well. Oh, this is an actual infantry division by Soviet Russia. 8 to 10 infantry battalions, alright. <clears throat> I really like, though, that we can at least see their composition. Because even though we're attacking, we're not exactly winning. We're similar to, to their division, but we do have recon as well as artillery. And I like that extra artillery. The struggle is a good thing, guys. The good thing... Struggle is a good thing. Actually, you'd be much smarter if I attack down there. Um, are we winning? Ooh, radio. Nice. Finally, if I can use... Let's get more output. Output is probably the most important thing right now. We got a Huainang 7.92mm heavy machine gun and Hunyang made Stokes mortar. Very good. Next up, uh, raise a cap. So I can make even more stuff once we hit the cap. Like artillery. Alright, so you're not exactly winning here. That's okay. That wasn't an easy victory, and that's totally, totally okay, because we'll attack down here next. But if we take that tile, we'll do very, very well. Have our militia divisions made it down here? Yes, they have. And can they win? Well, that division is it. Is that Turks? Or is it Ot Ottomans? Alright, so once you're done, I'm going to attack them next. What do they have here? Six infantry battalions. Well... Doesn't look successful so far. They're probably really dark. Wow, we get eight attack. Maybe four attack. I mean, does this give us more army XP? Ooh, that doesn't look good. Mr. Krabs, I'm not feeling good. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, the Ottomans have started to help attack again. Yes. Faretin Pasha. Pasha. Yes. We're probably not going to win. <laughs> oh, boy. Hmm. Just give us a little bit more army XP. Is it worth it? I hate using militia divisions so much. I'm going to keep them going. It's not like they can really win against us, probably. All I all I want is that arm. Oh my goodness. What happened? Alright, yep. join in the fun, guys. Join in on the fun. Uh oh. Someone was annexed. Old Guangzi clique seeks asylum. Nice. Maji and Lu. Yu Guang, leaders of the clique that formerly ru ruled Guangxi, oh, hello, um, have fled their homes after a power struggle. The two are old friends that once served under the, us during the war with the Kuomang Tang, and they've asked to serve in our armed forces once again after being forced out of Guangxi, perhaps, you know, maybe re restoring the rule someday. Well, do they like us? No, they hate us, these stupid market liberals. They probably want to trade with Germany or some crap like that. Merchant. Oh, but they do like to suppress labor movements. Not bad. Oh, but they might want to have a northern expedition sometime. I'm going to say, of course, these old friends are welcome. Oh, what? They have to find a new home elsewhere. I get more manpower. Wait, they joined the Shandong clique. Um. Yeah. Come on in. I'll take you. It's fine with me. Are you guys still attacking? Just, just stop attacking. It's a waste of time. Uh, anything else of interest? Losses? Well, we're doing better on guns. The main group to focus on over here is this. Oh, another division. Good, 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 good. Throw you down here. Oh, my God, I hate... I, oh, God. Oh, please let me edit these divisions, please. The Zeely Infantry Divisions are guardable. Oh, but we have field hospitals. That's nice, but I don't have the support equipment for that. And that's only because I just did his plan. Nice. If in time, I will throw it on. But, um... If I can exchange China... 
I don't think we really need it too much. If I join in the fight again, will we win? I mean, the guy's militia has quite a good recovery rate. Republic declared in Serbia. All right. Uh, quite a bit of lag. Standoff. Oh, the standoff in America. You know what? Just screw it. If these guys don't aren't very successful, at least as a consolation prize, we get army XP. Screw it. I'm not going to deal with that anymore. Um, attack here. Oh yeah, do double battle. Yeah, double battles are nice. Very nice. Go Russia, go. And I mean the Russian Republic, not the Russian, the Soviet Russians. Hold on, hold on. What are you doing? You're like one of the people who hate us the least. Why? Don't you dare. I mean, they only have 67 divisions. If they attacked us now, I wouldn't be upset. But then again, that could start a snowball effect of everyone declaring war on us, and I really wouldn't like that. Oh, they even did an encirclement. Nice. If anything, I don't want to let you guys just do whatever you want. So I want to manually control you so we don't lose too many men, too many supplies. We have on our own. That's good. We have 79 army XP. Get more war support right now. Oh, reorganize the warlord divisions. Hmm, turn them into valuable assets in the battlefield. Engineer Corps. Oh, we're going to do this one, so this will pop us over 100 so we can increase and raise our, our armies, attack and defense. While generals in Europe experiment with armored warfare and other cutting-edge ideas, our strategists have learned one lesson from the last decade of internecine warfare. Artillery is king. By modernizing our artillery stockpiles, we can ensure that they go into battle with the best fire support available. Artillery is very important. Very, very important. Um, next up, you know what? I'm going to make a new army. Put you under him for now. Whoever this person will be. Just in case. Just in case. Oh my gosh. Guangzi clique. Now, you're really politically connected and all that garbage. But, oh, you look very nice. Uh, why does... Oh, even you too. Yeah, this is the other guy. Maji. Why does everyone have to be politically connected? Please. You're politically connected or you're an old guard, really. And you love drugs. God, I'm so playing China. Um, you know what? Do Yang Sen, just because he's a good defensive person. So, that'd be good. Good, keep keep at it, boys. How are the Turkestani people doing? They're still going at it. They're losing their strength. Uh, I really don't like seeing it like this. But are you at least learning something? Becoming maybe a mountaineer, or an infantry leader, or organizer. Can I at least see some like a number go up, a some sort of percentage? 10, 20, 14, please. Can I see something? No? Ugh, fine, stop the attack for now. We'll probably attack in a little bit again. Um I'd like to do war economy. But let's get replace you. Wu Pai Fu, I love your tax. I love your daily political power, which we get 1.27 right now. But I gotta get Li Li Jen. Li Jishin. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Wu. You had your fun. But it's nothing personal, kid. Or really. <laughs> my leader. <laughs> One of my leaders here. Um, if anything, I don't like the way this is set up. Oh, wait. This is Moscow. Nice. Go take Moscow. That's good. That's good. Good, 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 good. We're still getting attacked down here. Has Have we learned anything, Kai? Have you learned anything? You're becoming a ranger. That's good. We have superior firepower, which will come in handy quite a bit. Delay doctrine for more of that. Very good. That doesn't bode well for us. Though we just did our first land doctrine in March of 1937. <clears throat> That's probably not for the best. Is this too many divisions? What happens if I cancel this? You have, I mean, you have no supplies anyways. You have one percentage of supplies. You got the manpower. We got the artillery support equipment. Oh my goodness. I need more. Uh, lower that by one. I need more guns. I just need guns, 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 guns blazing. Oh, yay! The second American Civil War. It looks like... Well, they didn't... Oh, the American Union State didn't get Tennessee. And the other half of Texas. And the CSA got Iowa and Minnesota. Canada obviously ate up New England. The Pacific States are looking okay. I don't know. This could... The CSA might win in the end. I don't know. Put your predictions down in the comments below. Who's going to win this American Civil War? I know I'm not. Oh, and we just took Moscow. Nice. I know that the, the Soviet Russians, of course, will not win. And that is... Not bad. 
I guess we don't really care, really, to be honest with you. I don't really care. Uh, you do not move uh, that way. You can move up that way. I'm fine with that. Get you a little bit more organization before we attack here. Canadian Commonwealth declare... Panama? Panama. Okay. Okay, sure. The Anguang clique. Did I check out their focus tree? A merchant government? Yeah, I did. I already, yeah, I did it. Yeah. Costa Rica. Join the... Okay, Panama. What are you doing to piss everyone else off? What are you... Oh, you must have taken the Panama Canal. Okay. See, that's why you don't get involved with other stuff like that. Improved machine tools. Very nice. Let's get some construction now. That'll be bueno. Yucatan is actually doing a really good job, surprisingly. I've never seen them expand out that far. Oh, oh, they're actually throwing more divisions down here, maybe? Throw one more guy down there, too. Oh, you're veterans. Holy cow. What's going on over here? If, yeah, we're not going to help the Ottomans right there. How about another attack? You guys did a great job. Let's attack there next. And watch what happens. Oh, no. Uh, Japan has been critical ever since a peace with honor. Um, Jap the Japanese seem determined to put this weakness to rest and now have announced their ambitions of seizing their place among the great powers once again, if by force, if necessary. Oh, no. I don't like that. I really don't like that. Oh, no, 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 no. The longest day. Uh, they want superior firepower. That's not good. And they did the rising sun. Oh, no. Sai Shinron. Nan Shinron. Host the Tokyo Conference. Oh my goodness. Please, uh, do not come to war with me. I am, I am good person. I'm just trying to reunite China. That's, that's, that's all we're trying to do. Just reunite all of the, the China. Alright, let's do this. Let's get over here, guys. You know what? Go ahead and have a good time with them. We're getting super, super close to having 100 army XP. Syndicalism spreads to the Philippines. Even in Asia, liberalism isn't safe. That's right, it isn't safe, even in Asia. Did they... Okay, so we... We actually won here, okay. Are they going to attack us again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Mahendra Pratap. Maklik declared war on Tibet. Um, I'm not going to help McLeek just because they're probably going to get gangbanged by Mongolia. You break my heart every time I see this, just because... What happened in Sternberg? War between Hui and Buddhists. Mongolia declared... Very nice. Would you like some volunteers, my good sir? You know what? Let's spare a few volunteers. Under the great general... Zhang... Xiao Zeng. I'll give it to Mongolia. This is becoming almost a little bit too much for me to do at a time. What are we spending? Air? Do I have air stuff going on? Oh, I did send volunteers down here. Hmm. I mean, we barely can cover this. We barely have our, any our air XP. Hmm. Actually, we're not finding really enemy fighters, if anything. Let's go ahead and send you home. And we will increase this to 15. 29, really. There you go. The Sichuan declared war on Tibet. Okay. Is that ahead of time, or is that just... Yeah, it's not ahead of time. That's fine. More artillery. That could be pretty good. Yeah, artillery is going to be pretty darn important for our war efforts. Here we are doing... Eh, oh, 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 I didn't realize it. Continue army reforms. Yes. Now, the Northwest Conflict. Tensions between the Mas, Tibet, and Mongolia have erupted into open warfare. While we are not logistically able to intervene directly in the conflict, we can certainly send aid and supplies to the Mas. While we may have had issues with certain members of the clique in the past, supporting them now will... Con well, certainly, endear them to us in the future, and keeping their territory in Chinese hands is also a major concern. I can send them small arms, or I can send volunteers. 
I got plenty enough manpower. You can have that, and you can have this. Now, I did send some divisions to Mongolia because I want more army XP. I'm playing both sides quite literally right now. Oh, wait, what is this? Location council? There's no motion. Okay, I thought there was some sort of motion going on down there. Old methods, old new designs. Um, Puyi is not the current leader. Oh, work with the Machu generals. That sounds pretty good to me. Pre prepare to breach the dams. Warlord divisions, we'll do that in a little bit. Next up, let's get... Mm, army XP, I like the army XP. Harmonious balance, I like that as well. Remove fractured empire. We get more population and we can actually use more civilian goods. Let's nationalize German industry next. A great deal of businesses were wholly or partly by German financial concerns prior to the withdrawal of the financial support for our regime. We can move in and nationalize these industries, helping our domestic industry. Germany, concerned with Black Monday, of course, cannot retaliate beyond, besides or beyond some angry telegrams. Ah, geopolitics in my strategy game. I love it. You are still struggling really hard over here. Almost too hard. But then again, I look at my army XP and I say, not hard enough. I'm liking how fast we're getting up there. Artillery is still good. Motorized, we got a thousand. My divisions have arrived in Mongolia. Very, very good. Under Zeng, I hope you're having a good day because you're about to lose some men. Um, actually, three of you where? Something like that. I'm sure the supplies going to be complete garbage, but whatever. Eh, whatever. So the Greater Co Prosperity Sphere, or just Co Prosperity Sphere, includes Japan, Transamir, and Japanese like Korea. We have the Baltic War, a blow to the Reich's back, to be sure. Ah, I love the war. Ah, we actually won. Nice. Go ahead and... Kind of... Just kind of hang out for now, guys. You took out quite a few blows, so... Hang out. Did you learn anything? He became an organizer. That's good. He became an organizer. He's an engineer. I like it. I really like it. We're still getting attacked down here. Very, very good. We have some veterans, which I love. You know what? Even though these are guys are only 18 combat width for most of my divisions, I could make them 20 combat width, but I'm not going to. I need as many divisions on the line as possible first. And then I'll raise battalion, or add in another battalion eventually. Oh, the Savoy Crisis resolved, so no early Veldkrieg this time. Foundation of the Belgrad Pact. The Balkans, they're the Balkans. They go kaboom quite often. All they need is Albania, and then that would be perfect all right what's over here I'm just kind of hanging out I'm okay with that now we're going to attack Swedish following the revolutionary committee's overthrow of the Swedish government they formally aligned with the Swedish commune with Paris I have never seen this happen what you joined the third international what I have never seen that happen before then again, I don't play a ton of Kaiserreich, but... Oh my goodness. Actually, it's only minus 10% artillery production cost. That's not bad. That's better than nothing. Guns, we make about one gun a day. That's not really good. Ooh. How's this? Only four. Oh. Keep going, guys. Keep going. You're doing a great job, even though you're probably dying and losing pieces of equipment. Just keep going. Who cares? It's for the greater good. Just remember that. It's for the greater good. If you die, that's okay. And that's a sacrifice we're willing to take. With your death, of course. Um, You guys are doing great down here. Okay, actually, what's a manpower strength of KMT? Mm, not bad. Wait, what's that? Oh, insurgent army, that's right. Yeah, insurgent army. How is this going? As the line moved whatsoever, everyone seems to be attacking. And you know what? If everyone is doing it, we should do it too. Beautiful. Even though we're not getting that much more army XP, can you actually push? That would be glorious. What is the manpower like of this group? Because this little province isn't doing too bad. Kumul, 39,000 max. You guys have 3,000 max. East Turkestan has uh, nowhere near the amount they need. Not bad, not bad. Go ahead and do this. This is a little hump that we don't like, and we shall take it out. Oh, eh. As soon as we start helping out, the number starts going down. That is not bueno. The battle lasts for another 24, 34 days. Holy cow. 
Uh, but hey, that army XP. Give me all that army XP. I'm gonna eat it all up. Ooh, send small arms. You know what? If that'll make them make them like us more, sure. Send heavy equipment. Yeah, I don't have that. Yeah, no. Anything else? I could lower or raise my my export levels, but really they're not bad right now. If I raised it, I would probably honestly hurt my level of steel, and I really don't want that. Are you guys connected at all? If anything, you could probably help push these guys out. They're completely surrounded. No. Nice. I forgot about me sending guys to uh, Mongolia. Go ahead and just hold for one division. You know what? Hold all three divisions. That's fine. Move on up. That'll be good. Thank you. And are we in any sort of conflict right here? No, we're not. Frankly, it seems like we're a little bit too sparse out. Let's do that next. Good. 50. We're already halfway there to raising or continuing army reforms. Because this is going to be important when we get to war with Japan. Oh my god, I can already tell. Uh, uh, Ireland? German World War I tank divisions from Ireland. Oh no, I, I never liked it when that happened. I really never liked it when... Uh, the Baltic Union falls. I always like the Baltic Union. It seems always kind of like an interesting thing. How's the American Civil War going? I don't know. We'll take a quick look after this. Spread pro and pro propaganda. Well, that could help. If we have more political party favor from the people, we get more a little bit more political power. Encourage this war. Oh, yeah. That's nice. That'll come in handy. More. St oh, more stability, though. Oh, baby. Give me more stability. Attract anti-concession intellectuals. Our intervention in favor of Governor Chen has bolstered the legitimacy of our government by margins previously thought impossible for a warlord a government. By recruiting former Ensera intellectuals into our government, we can further legitimize our regime. And Second American Civil War is not going well for Big Mac whatsoever. It's so bad that even the syndicates invaded Mobile and almost Biloxi in the Deep South. Holy... I figured that the CSA was probably going to win. That's a little scary. Mozambique Bush War, Metal Africa Declare War in Portugal. Pretty normal stuff. Pretty normal. Oh, how's this? Oh, we are losing an attacking battle. That's right, don't, you don't need to attack. That's okay. Just move in right where they were. And then you guys move in and maybe you cut them off. Maybe, maybe not. How's this going up here? Air, Saudi Arabia joined the Cairo Pact. Let's have a good time right here. And we're going to immediately start losing. <sighs> I don't like that. Yeah, we're not winning. I don't like not winning. Losing is even worse than not winning. Hmm, give me three. No one's helping me attack. That's fine. Go ahead and hold for now. Go ahead and hold. I mean, our divisions aren't great. That's literally why we're trying to get army XP. They're continuing to abandon the line. Mongolia, I thought you were going to win this. What, what are you doing? Mongolia, what are you doing? I wanted to do an encirclement, man. Uh, actually, they're moving up. You just hold for now. Uh, you're still holding down here. That's good. Oh, are you attacking down here? Uh, how, how, how's this battle going? Not bueno. How about if I helped you out right now? Will it be any more bueno? It's four divisions. Half of them are attacking over river. Which are just my divisions. Finland joined the Reich's Pact. Well, that's... Whatever, you know. Oh! Oh, Germany. Or... Yeah, Germany. What are you doing? If I help you attack here, will you win? You might be able to win. Good. I don't want to see that. We got more political power? Good. Uh, industry stuff. Not bad. I like that. More industrial speech. Academia. Seneca. That's not bad either. 10%, 10%, and radar speed, or radar station building, or military factory building. Oh, how about this, though? Oh, production cost goes down. Yes, absolutely. I have to do Gongzhong, Gongzian Arsenal. Yes. Even though it's only 5%, I need every percent I can get. Oh, my goodness. Just produce, 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 and when you're done, I'd say reproduce, but we already have 101 million people in, living in our country. Really, 106 million people. Syndicalism spreads to Burma... Spread ourselves thin, because if we spread ourselves thin, the AI might want to attack us. Um, they're not attacking us over here, so let's give them a little bit more of a reason, too. Good. Actually, you know what? You hold. We're already, you are already veterans. We don't need you to get any more experience. And then, y'all... 
are doing an okay job here. 62. Actually, let's get a quick look. Send more small arms. Um, I guess. Look, we'll try it. That does hurt our production of stuff. But 200 arms, we make that within five days. So that's not too bad. Five days delay of you know, making arms. So be it. You know, whatever. We're still winning. Yeah, we're still winning. That's good. The deficit's going down. 1.07 political power a day. We're almost done with the first army reform, and we're 65% of the way there, 66% of the way there, to getting the next one underway. Which is muy bueno. Nice, we won here. Former German factories reopen after announcing our intentions to nationalize German factories in Beijing. Many in our government fear backlash from the German government, yet, with Black Monday absorbing most of their attention, we were able to conclude nationalization with little consequences. We've drawn up plans to distribute factory ownership to a variety of loyal contractors, but now we face a question. What should these factories produce? Previously, they produced bulk consumer goods to be shipped back to Germany and could easily be retooled to do the same for our population. Alternatively, though, they could be easily modified to produce military support supplies such as blankets and cooking equipment, but having them produce weapons or actual ammunition would be prohibitively expensive. Civilian goods? Um, political power is nice, but I don't, I don't really have that much use for it besides filling out my cabinet now. This stuff is okay, but we're going to do support supplies. It's only 5 army XP, but I want every little suckle of army XP as possible. I, I gotta have it. Oh, a little bit more lag. Oh my goodness, how did they get more divisions? That is not good. You're attacking, which is fine. Another division for us. Good, 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 good. Throw you down there against Hunan, because you never know what they might do. Ah, oh, this is exactly what I was planning for. Very good. Oh, wait. Oh, another division. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, come on. Bring on the attacks, Mao Biao. Mao Biao, come on. Mexico and you could... Did they sign a white peace? They signed a white... Wow. You go, uh, Yucatan. Wow, that's pretty... Im that's kind of impressive, not gonna lie. Oh, wait. Oh, it only takes 50? Oh, my goodness. Yes, 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 yes. Do that. Do that. Yes. 30% attack and defense deficit. That is good. Deficit. More like a debuff. But whatever. Ah, oh, good. We exploited them again to attack us again and again and again. How is the Soviet Union or Soviet Onion looking? Not bueno by some regards. It looks like the Germans really want to attack, and you know what? I'll help them in their attack. Ukrainians? Finns? Come on. Ah, oh, the Ukrainians decided to attack after I said something. Good. And the Serbian Republic declared war on Bulgaria. The fourth Balkan War. Uh, into war. Stuff, good, good, good. 1937. Mm, stuff would all be nice. I just don't have the you know, ability to make all this stuff. I mean, most stuff, I won't get into this and stuff, and stu this stuff until very, very late game. This isn't road to 56, so I can't just choose whatever I want. Getting more extraction would be a complete waste of time right now. Doing ship stuff... Huh. Ooh, large sub hull, huh? Um. Light ship, cruisers. It's pretty easy to understand this, at least. <sighs> cruisers. I'm gonna need cruisers if I want to make, make a navy. And I'll probably choose heavy battleships. But it's, I don't just don't think it's worth it doing that right now. If anything, I need mountaineers. Having mountaineers in our army would actually prove to be very use, useful because of all the mountains and hills in China. And then I will eventually do, of course, paratroopers as well, so. This takes how many days? 50? 90 days. That's better than earlier. Good. 27. Just keep increasing it for now, because once we're done with our debuffs for our army... Oh, there's bicycles here. Then I can actually change our armies, or infantries, or even tank divisions someday, maybe, design. Template. Good. Have you... Look at that defense. Level 5. Very nice. Yeah, I would not want to attack here anymore. It's a bad idea. Supply is actually a bad thing down here. Very good, very good. Encourage. Bauding Zili Corporation. The cadets of the Bauding Military Academy, most of which joined the YCP, long resented the continued influence of Germany and other foreign powers over our government. With our new anti-concession stance, however, they have started to support our regime. By drawing them into the Zili command structure, we can ensure their loyalty for years to come, in which we get more... War support, I believe, and some more army XP. Yes, more base war support. That's very, very good. You guys, you want to attack here. 
I don't think our soldiers are really ready for that. We got construction. Very nice. It's 1937. We can afford maybe now to do a cruiser hull. Why not? Small arms. Give them more small arms with a 5% reduction. And another, like another factory. We're at negative 18,000. It's not bad. Are you actually winning here? Because if you are, I want to be part of that action. Good. I just... Wait, when did Don Caban get this? Astrakhan. Todos in the Baratia Commune. Bulgaria is not having a good time whatsoever. Oh, wait. What is Albania doing? Oh, they're allied kind of with Bulgaria. Well, not really allied, but whatever. Mm -hmm. Good. Keep attacking. You might win. You still might win. That's good. McLeek, you're looking like a mess. You're probably going to lose... I really don't want you to lose, but I kind of want that army XP regardless of what happens. Um, I could attack here using my other divisions. If all three of you decided to attack, what would happen? Could you win? Could you win well, though? Against Ma Biao. He is a grenader. Or an urban assault. A specialist. You could probably win, as long as I keep an eye on this. That'll be okay. Triple Italia doing the Cairo Pact. Sounds like the Ottomans probably aren't going to be having a good time soon. 90. Good, 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 good. Five civilian factories. We got a whole five. We've got the whole world in our hands. The fall of Washington syndi syndicate militias have taken over. The federal collapse. The fall of Denver. Oh, no, no, no. Bulgaria. This oh, looks like someone just got butchered. Oh, that's a, that's a sad Bulgaria. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, and we're immediately getting attacked in Rizhev. Hmm. Nice, we're doing well down there still. You know what I forgot? I could continue to send planes down to these nations we volunteered our forces to. Alright, Liberia. Alright, guys. Um, but we don't have too much of a stockpile of planes. We're not really building too much. And I will end the episode. Oh, no. Um... Looks like the socialist won in Bulgaria. All right, so this is the last thing we're gonna do before I call it an episode. So the emperor and Zili, two pillars of China's independence, our recent report or support of anti-concession intellectual movements appears to have been remarkably successful. With more and more in Beijing's nascent intelligentsia writing papers and pamphlets in support of our government. A personal favorite of Wu Paifu's published in a journal originating in the fiercely anti-warlord May 4th movement is The Emperor and the Zili, Two Pillars of China's Independence. A concise tract that holds up Wu and his clique as bastions of China's fight against foreign domination with the Emperor as a powerful tool or <coughs> symbol, symbol of China's modernization. Zhang Zulin and his Beijing government are denounced as foreign parasites, leeching Manchuria's mineral wealth and sending it back to Japan while leaving the population impoverished. Great! And that, my friends, is where we're going to leave today's episode. I know it went on much longer than I expected, but whatever. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link below, and I will see you all tomorrow as we probably will see Maklik fall, the Soviet Union fall, and we're going to be stuck in East Turkmenistan. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.